morning, YouTubers. Right. Sunday morning. In between 9 and 10, I couldn't tell you anymore. The second chip run. I don't know how much I'm going to film today because I've done this several times now and yeah, everybody knows the drill now. We go to Thetford, up through Swatham, to Wells, have fish and chips, and then to Cromer. But this is going to be a little bit different, this one, because I'm going to stay at Cromer tonight. And Triple Dave is going to have a little big adventure. So we'll see where it takes us. Well, I know where that's going to take us. Long as tomorrow, if that's going to piss down with rain all day, that's really going to depress me, but we'll see. Right, we'll see. Whoa, hum. We'll see how many. This garage is all working again now, isn't it? Which is fan. Fantastic. Yep. How you getting on? Sorry I'm late. Yeah, yeah. Chap. <laughs> yes, mate. Say hello, ya. Robbie! Say hello to you! <coughs> right. This is where I leave the rest. Uh. Let's go and have some fun in Chroma. Gotta find how to get to the hotel first. Staying in there somewhere. Could have got there, look. I think I've got to turn left by where that church is. Well, not that you can see it, but. We're still a bit uh oh, it's three o'clock, that's all right. Three o'clock. Get the leathers off, get the shorts on, and go and have a beer. Morrison's 167. Uh, right, this is where that's gonna get complicated now. I know I'm a lorry driver and I should know how to get to places, but... Kebab! Had one last night. What's going on here then? They all doing? <laughs> Is it a protest? Ah! This is where I've got to go, here somewhere.
thank you. Ah, here we go, look. Welcome to today's hotel for the night. Didn't have to come far, did I? The pier, right. We cut it there. Speak to you later. W's in the tower. Nice view though, eh? blustery one that is gonna be a windy one at least that's dry anyway isn't it right let's get on the way Spent a few quid in that one last night. Am I going the right way? All right, we're well, bringing it back. I'm just going to work my way, more or less, where we uh, came yesterday. To, uh, back to Wales and then on Stanton and then down. Uh, oh, pardon me. Welcome back. We find ourselves at Sandringham. I'm just going to ride around and see if I can find that main gate. A bit thick-headed this morning, wasn't a very good idea going on the Raz around Chroma last night. Good time though. I did do something wrong, I forgot to eat me tea. Literally didn't have nothing to eat. 
So I was well up for the fry up this morning at the hotel. No stopping or waiting on this road. So uh, perhaps we're not going to be able to then. No stopping or waiting. No stopping or waiting. Police slow. Ah, this will be your main gate then, won't it? How can you stop then? You can't, I suppose, can you? Because the coppers will... Uh... Oh, there, look. Your destination is on the right. Sipret left uh, Sandringham uh, across the King's Lynn. Well, it weren't far away, to be fair. And uh, I've just come all the way along at A17, and I'm now near Newark. Four miles away from, well, more or less the A1, innit? it? In it. Uh, A17, interesting road on a motorcycle. Uh, I had a lot of cars heading towards me. Kamikaze. To be fair, most of the way I was on their side of the road. We're just going to work our way across to Matlock. Yeah, I have got, I've done one stop so far, so I don't know how many... Uh, I've got some petrol at Sen Sandringham. Sandringham? Sheringham! Filled up at Sheringham. That's now 12.31. I think I left Chroma just before 10. 10, 11, 12, two and a half hours. And I've done one stop, one for fill, and one that, that was just fill up on and away again. And I stopped at uh, past Sutton Bridge. Or was it? Yes, that was, Sutton Bridge area. That weren't as far as Swinehead, but that was Sutton Bridge area. Stopped at the server size and uh, had a drink. A drink, David, had a drink. That's pretty weird doing this, because all I'm thinking about, I think I'm, I've got a 45, foot trailer behind me because I'm just pounding the same old roads as what I do when I'm at work but yeah I was quite just going along there and uh, this is this is reacting the A17 whoa fucking big wheeler coming in morning we duck in here this can't be uh, oh it's a roundabout in there services Clear! Clear! Yeah, I was doing this along the A17. One bloke just fucking aimed for me, the bell end. To be fair, I was on his side of the road, so, you know. Shit happens, mate. You what? I just don't like it. Just don't like it, it is. Most people move over a little bit, don't they? or not, as the case may be. A17 boy. How you gonna get down the A17 boy? Oh, we're still on the A17, aren't we? Me on about the A17, we're still on it. Look at all this friggin' traffic. It's a nice thing about being on a bike, isn't it? <laughs> hey, look at this. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, we are at the A1 junction. 
46. Is that the way we're going, is it? Trouble is, I can't have my phone in its holder because this bag is um, in the way. So all I've got is my phone up there and I'm just listening to the lady on Google. I thought that was going to be a bit of a, probably a strange route if I put it in Kalimoto. I'd probably still be in Norfolk doing the uh, twisties. Alright, well we'll bring it back when something else happens. Riding! I don't know what the time, uh, about half one I think it is now. So we're in some bad time really, who no cross. Uh, it's quite a nice road isn't it? You follow the river down there on the right. Wonderful. Triple Dave is in the Derbyshire Dales. Good grief. Who would have thought? With the trusty triumph for me, two bags. Oh, two bags. Yeah, I thought I was going to get absolutely drenched today, but that was, uh, looked like that had rained overnight in Crummer. But that was dry this morning, just puddy, blustery, windy. But you are by the coast, aren't you? Busy old road this A6, isn't it? Do you know what? I'm getting a little bit cold. These trousers are not... The other ones had real thick lining in them and these haven't got an awful lot but you can feel it on me thigh there a little bit on the chilly side and I've only got a t-shirt underneath this coat we're right for petrol aren't we perhaps we get some in there in the morning when I hoon at home doing that sooner if uh, there's nowhere to stop here. I did ring a guy at the old bank last night. Here, the old bank, Matlock Bank. Oh, here's the... <coughs> we'll see what happens. Look, we're on the scoreboard. Scoreboard? Matlock Bath. I didn't honestly think I was going to be here this quick, but that only felt half an hour ago. I was uh, still winging it across Lincolnshire. Oh Lord, the big, did you see that big hairy old owl station? Wigglesworth. Winksworth. Did we used to go there to a garden centre at one time or another? chips. We'll see, literally never been here before, been through, oh, well, driven through, I've never stopped, sorry I'll say that again, I have never partaken with stopping at this destination, but I've been through here hundreds of times, because we do um, two or three garden centres around Matlock, been doing them for Blimey. 30 years plus probably. So I've been through here a few times and always wanted to stop. There's a big hotel there, look. look. New Bath Road. Oh, that's getting exciting, isn't it? Are we there yet? Are we recording? Are we there yet, Dad? 
Dion, look. I wonder where that road goes on. Thank you. Well, here we are then, look. The triple has made it to... Where can I hooner along the front here? Bikes. I do end one up there. Do end one up there. I do end one up there. Jesus! Oh well, there you go, look. Matlock Bath, Hall of Derbyshire Ice Creams. We've only gone and done it, haven't we? Right, see you later. I've just walked up to where the hotel is and that's all shut so I think as that's only two o'clock I'm going to have some chips and bugger off home Well, there you have it. Yes, I just walked up to the uh, where I was going to stay, but the bloke did say, you know, if you get there, you get there. If you don't, you don't. But um, <coughs> that's only half two in the afternoon, so. And I don't know, my excessive amount of lager last night. I don't fancy it. Do you know what I mean? I think I'm just going to boot at home. As you do. Are we all locked in? <coughs> Indicators flashing. Right. <coughs> this place up here look the old bank it's all shut up look right let's turn it around or we'll do it somewhere sorry less dangerous So I don't get rammed up the arse by a car. Lovely, isn't it? River down there somewhere. Right. Bless who not home. If you can actually see anything, all you're probably looking at is a tank bag. Oh, 
fella, here you go. Just had some fish and chips. And to be fair, the fish weren't the greatest bit. That was just a... Yeah, let's just not... It was all right. I mean, I had me choice. There's about, no word of a lie, about eight or nine fish shops along here. That's weird, isn't it? That's like a seafront in the middle of the country. And the bike shop was shut, but I went to this one here and bought a t-shirt. Lovely chap working in there. See, even that pub is shut, so what? Not that I'd want any more lager, but at least there was a bit more. There's not, what am I gonna do? In the air, oh, just stop talking, Dave. You're just waffling. Anyway, that was the Triple Dave Little Big Adventure. The big bit is the ride home, I should imagine. I don't think I'll need any satellite navigation to follow myself back to Rendlesham. And then I'll um, piece this video together. There probably won't be a lot on it because I didn't film anything yesterday much because I've done the chip run several times and that's um, on the videos. So I only filmed a bit coming in and going out this morning. Green light means go. Got a t-shirt. <coughs> Went there, had a look, bought the t-shirt. is going to boot her down the M1. That is something I've never done on this triumphant triumph. On Triple Dave's Little Big Adventure. Oh my god. Oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? Straight out in the fast lane boot it down to the A14 Humber T come on camper budge you're either in the right lane or the left lane pick one you like I need to get some petrol at some point no, I'll tell you what, I've been lucky with the weather today, considering I was thinking I was going to get soaked and bloody wet. Right, keep your wits about you then, Dave. So many bell ends out on the road. Hate to kill you.
Battery's low. Oh dear. 